Hey guys, Mike here. In this video, I'm going to explain why greeting the last hit in your combo is more expensive than you realize. All right, so what I have here is a little diagram, top-down view, and I got the monster here, and I have the player here, which is this triangle. So what most people will do is they'll attack the monster, they get their first hit in, or maybe their second hit in, and they will usually greet a third hit. Obviously, it depends on weapons. Like for Greatsword, maybe you'll greet a second hit. For Sword and Shield, maybe you'll greet a third hit, which is usually a round slash. It really depends on the weapon, but you get the idea. I'm here to tell you that's more detrimental than you think. So if you remember this video, you, you know, you're supposed to get your attack after each monster attack. So a large majority of the time you're playing defense when you're fighting a monster. I would say 50% of the time, according to this diagram. So by greeting an extra hit, you're actually significantly gimping your defense. Let's say you greet an attack and the monster's already started his next attack. So what defensive options do you have then? Well, you can roll out of the way like this, which is basically a roll cancel. The issue is you can only roll in four directions for a roll cancel. You can either roll left, right, forward, or back. Actually, I think in the older Monster Hunter games, you actually can't roll back. So it was only introduced in the world, but some can correct me on that. But even in world, rolling back is not that good because I think the distance is actually shorter than the left, right, and forward rolls, as well as there's actually more recovery frames on the backwards roll as well. So this is actually, it's still not that good. It's like a last resort and that's all you can do. So you better pray the monster doesn't cleave in one of the directions that you can roll or pray that at least one of these directions is a safe place to roll into. Now let's consider the hunter who doesn't greed their last hit and what defensive options do they have? Well, for one, they have an omnidirectional roll, which basically means they can roll in any direction. Not only that, they have access to guard and a lot of weapons actually have access to guard. Greatsword has guard, sword and shield has guard. That's one thing I don't see a lot of sword and shield users using a lot is the guard enough. Guard is extremely strong on sword and shield. As long as you have enough stamina, you can pretty much nullify most damage with a guard, especially in a last resort. The thing is you can't, you can't guard cancel out of sword and shield attacks. You actually have to stop attacking so that you're able to gain back access to guard. Obviously the lance type weapons, the guard is incredibly overpowered on those weapons. Usually it's not a big issue on lance because the recovery frames on the stabs for lance are pretty short. But again, if you go, if you greed that extra stab on a lance, you potentially may still not have access to guard in time. Another thing you have access to that's overlooked is walking. A lot of monster attacks can actually be dodged by just kind of sidestepping and just stepping like maybe three steps to the left or right. But again, if you're still caught in a attack animation, you don't have access to even moving. You, like I said, you only have access to dodging in those four directions, which is the dodge cancel. Another thing you have access to is sheathing. Sheath your weapon and start sprinting into a different direction. Obviously, you're not going to sh sheath for like the lance, and so you have to determine if it's ap applicable to your weapon. These are just one of many tools that may be applicable. The thing about omnidirectional dodging is that you can literally pick the most optimal place to dodge, which will set you up for the next exchange, so you can get a really nice start to your juicy combo for the next monster exchange. And again, if in the very rare case that none of the dodging options work out, you still can fall back on guard. It's always better to guard than take damage. Another way to think about this is you can compare it to fighting games. Fighting games, they when you see the good players play, they don't go for their five hit combo on every exchange. They'll just do their one, two, and they'll just poke, right? It's the same idea with the monster, except in Monster Hunter, it's a little bit more static. You can determine pretty much ahead of time, like depending on what the monster attacks you with, how much attacks you can get in. And that just comes with experience, but it's, it's the same fundamental idea. For most monster attacks, you're just going to be able to get in a one, two poke. If you're in a right position for a true counter, then you can obviously get in more hits, like getting those extra round slashes or maybe a second great sword slash or more pokes on the lance. And that's the same in fighting games too. Like if the opening is bigger, to punish the opponent, that's when they start to extend the combo more. Same idea in Monster Hunter. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that video and thanks for watching.